You guys probably can't hear it, but I'm being awesome right now. So, the big news this week has been that patch 3.3.5 is going to remove some of the functionality necessary for the mod AVR to function. Um, now, if you're not familiar with AVR or the, the add-on for AVRE, um, basically what it does is it makes an overlay on your screen uh, and just puts some shapes and stuff out there, but it kind of twists them and distorts them around until it looks like they're actually showing up uh, directly on the game world. It doesn't actually interfere with the game world at all, but it, it makes this overlay uh, that just basically looks like you're drawing directly on the screen. Now what the AVRE package, the AVR Encounters package was doing, was actually using that to create uh, some sort of boss mods uh, for several encounters and doing stuff like putting a big red circle on the ground that says don't stand here um, or pointing an arrow or a line that's connecting you and another player that you need to go do something with them or something a bunch of little stuff like that. Um, now the response to it being removed has been pretty black and white uh, in the direction people are going with it. Um, a lot of people are saying yeah great get rid of it that was that's awful that I don't need my hand held that's only for people that are absolutely terrible at the game uh, get rid of it there shouldn't be a reason there shouldn't be a way to install a mod that plays the game for you basically has been one camp uh, of the argument and the other side has been well this mod was great it really helped me a lot it showed me a lot of things that I wouldn't have otherwise seen uh, and it makes running pugs a lot easier because I can grab these people that are awful and pull them in here and say hey install AVR and it will make you fantastic so I'm going to present a slightly uh, more middle ground opinion on the the whole thing um, kind of halfway between the two I'm not going to say that having AVR was fantastic and that we should keep it and oh my god Blizzard you're doing something terrible but I'm also not going to go and say everything AVR did was just hand holding now I'm definitely not going to say that everything AVR did was fine and they should keep it around. That's no, they, it was a whole lot of hand holding going on there. There was a whole lot of stuff that was just kind of a little bit helpful. I mean, it was if you knew what you were doing, then that information wasn't really necessary, but it was kind of good. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot of hand holding that was going on in there. Just basic stuff that if you're doing any raiding in World of Warcraft, you should already know this, and you should be able to handle this sort of situation. Um, Erg, who is uh, one of our enhancement shaman, uh, he's our melee role officer. He's also one of my favorite people in the universe. Uh, he has a macro that he likes to hit uh, when people are just generally being dumb in a raid that goes, how to play WoW, uh, don't stand in the thing, run away when the boss says stuff, and if we die, things get complicated. And basically all he's saying there is, if there is a thing, generally speaking, the thing is where you don't want to be. You want to be someplace else. Uh, if the boss says something, there's probably something you need to run away from. And uh, the final one, if we die, things get complicated, is basically just his way of saying, yeah, sometimes people are going to die, but when it happens, it's not an automatic wipe, don't freak out, it just makes things a little bit more complicated. So, that that's Erg's little speech of how to play World of Warcraft. And a lot of what's in that list is stuff that AVR was just kind of forcing you into. It was just kind of going, hey, look at this big spot on the ground, you better not stand there. You know, pretty, pretty simple and basic stuff. But, and this is tiny little butt, like, this guy's been working out, really, really small butt. Uh, Oh, that was terrible. Uh, there, there were a few things that AVR did that are pretty decent, I think. So to give an example of what I'm talking about, I'm going to look at the Professor Putricide encounter because it has pretty good instances of what I consider to be both extremes. Uh, on the first hand, we have Malleable Goo. If you're not familiar with the encounter, I recommend going and watching the video guide. Uh, but basically, it just boils down to, in Phase 2, he throws these big spiraling balls of gooey death out at the raid and you have to move away from them or you get hit and explodes and takes a whole bunch of damage and you get a debuff. It's pretty bad. It's one of the worst things for, for ranged players to do uh, in Phase 2. So, uh, what AVR does is, well it does two things actually. First it tries to find the people that specifically have the goo jumping at them because he targets a person with it. Uh, it tries to find those people and put a red circle underneath, uh, underneath their feet where, where they were standing when the goo went out. 
It can't really do that very reliably though, just because of the way the game works, so you end up with circles that aren't where anything is, or you just end up with weird stuff going on. So what it does on top of that is it puts a blue circle underneath the feet of every person in the raid. Okay? Absolutely everyone gets a blue circle underneath their feet. It just fills the screen with blue. There's just blue everywhere except for, you know, a few little nooks and crannies here and there that you can go stand in and you know no matter what, there is no possible way a malleable goo is coming to this spot that I'm standing on, so I will run all the way over here and stand in this spot and I will be safe. Now, not only is that the easiest mechanic to deal with anyway, and this is just something that, I mean, you really shouldn't need that. That's not something that is okay to need. Um, it's actually worse in a lot of say, in a lot of cases. It's actually worse than just standing still because what if the goo isn't targeting you? You don't even need to move in that case. If it's not headed towards you, then you're fine where you're standing. You you can just stay right there and continue doing what you're doing. Uh, so that's that's a good example of going a little too far and just being like, all right, I'm gonna hold your hand while you cross the street and make sure you look both ways. But if you don't, that's fine. I did for you. The other hand, uh, however. Uh, there is the the Unbound Plague in Heroic Mode. Now, again, I don't want to get into big explanations of how the encounter works, but basically it's a lot like the Frost Giant in the uh, uh, the weekly quest uh, just before Gunship Battle. Um, someone has a plague, they need to pass it to somebody else by standing on them within about 10 seconds, uh, but if you stand on someone, if you pass it to someone who has had it recently and has a Plague Sickness debuff, they will probably die. So bad times in that, case, in that case. Now, what AVR does is it puts a little circle underneath everybody's feet who have had the uh, the debuff, who had the, the Plague Sickness debuff, uh, and then it goes away when the debuff falls off. So you're able to quickly and easily tell, okay, I'm, I've got this plague, I've got 10 seconds to find somebody, okay, there's someone standing over there, I can run over there and pass it to them and we'll be good. On the, if you don't have AVR installed, what you, instead what you have to do is you get the plague and you go, okay, I have the plague, I have 10 seconds to find somebody to pass it to, and just start clicking on people around you until you find somebody without the, without the debuff. Um, now, the way the fight works, especially on 25 man, there's pretty much always somebody that doesn't have the debuff around. It, it's pretty hard to get into a situation where absolutely everybody has the debuff, but... Uh, if you don't have AVR installed, it can be really, really hard to find those guys, especially in the, the very, very small window that you have to actually find them and then get to them to be able to pass the debuff. Um, so, in my opinion, what's happening there is not so much that it's holding your hand, although it certainly is. It's definitely something that's helping you out and saying, hey, go over here, pass it to this guy. Um, I consider that to be a failing in the encounter design. I think that there should be something already in the game uh, that helps you tell who you can pass the debuff to. Um, for example, there is a uh, there's a, an animation on the person with the plague. Why not, instead of having the animation be on the person with the plague, why not put that on people who have plague sickness so that you can glance around the room and go, okay, I need to get all the way over there to that guy because he's the person that I need to pass this to. Uh, and I can avoid these other people on the way, and I can get there, and I'll get there within the 10 seconds it takes uh, before I die to having this plague. Um, so yeah, I I really feel like there are there is a point where AVR wasn't so much holding your hand as it was making up for what the game interface was not telling you. Now again, I'm not saying AVR is fantastic, everybody should use it, and they should leave it in the game. And in fact, I don't even disagree uh, with the choice they made to break it in 3.3.5. All I'm saying is that I think Blizzard needs to be moving forward a little bit more careful with their encounter design to make sure that they're actually giving the information that the players need uh, to be able to properly react to things and respond to things. Uh, if I get the plague, I should be able to tell within the amount of time that it takes for me to die from it uh, who I can pass it to and where I need to go to get to them. It's a, such a pain and a just ridiculously complicated process trying to find somebody without AVR installed, uh, trying to find somebody to actually pass it to, but if you have it installed then you can see them and move right over to them and it's fine. So yeah, that's pretty much my spiel for the week. Um, if you're a Blizzard developer watching this, that would be fantastic if you guys could just add a little animation or something just so I can tell who to pass it to. 
But anyway, um, be sure to check back next Tuesday. I am back on Tuesdays again, if you did not notice by the day that this went up, which should be Tuesday. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next week.